the season in which cherry blossoms' petals flow in the air. It marked the start of a new environment. I was walking around town when... You're so cute! Are you a new student? Let us walk you to your class. I saw some boys flirting from early morning. Gosh, at that age? How embarrassing. This is what's wrong with the younger generation nowadays. No, hold on. Isn't a student flirting with another student a little old-fashioned? Well, it doesn't matter either way. I have to set them straight here. The girls must be trouble too. Thinking about things like that, I, Ikuma Sakamoto, headed over to the girls being messed around with. Hey, hey! Those girls right there! Would you like to have a heated walk to school with me? Why are you on their side? Aren't you supposed to be saving us? Besides, what the hell is a heated walk to school anyway? Who the hell are you? Don't just barge in and act all high and mighty. Who do you think you are, man? Obviously, I came here because the girls looked like they were in trouble. You were on their side too, though. It's not my fault. You guys are actually super cute. But like, these girls really are cute. One girl was slightly tall and had long black hair tied up in a side ponytail. Uh, what? The other girl looked adorable too. She had a strong-willed but lovable face and had her long brown hair curled. Why are you staring at us like that? Hmm. I understand why he wanted to flirt with them. Either way, you look like you're bothering these two. You're at a good age already. It's embarrassing! What the hell did you just say?! The boy swung his fist. Uh, oh, watch out! What? Huh? It's true. This was dangerous. I can't believe he would swing when there are girls behind me. What's he gonna do if he trips, falls, and accidentally lands a punch on them? I guess I'll glare for now. Uh, was that the house Shoku Haki? Come on. Hurry up and go somewhere else. Damn it! I assumed the other guy was going to attack me too, but it didn't seem that that was going to be the case. He took his passed out friend with him and quickly fled from the scene. I might have gone too far, but this was self-defense, so I'll just pray that this doesn't become a problem. So, are you two okay? What's the matter? I feel like their faces might be super red, but... What? It's nothing! Really? Their faces are so red that I doubt it's nothing. But if they say it's nothing, it's probably actually nothing. Well, I'm about to be late, so I'm going to be cool and leave the scene. It'd probably be cooler if I could transport, but I'm not a hero like that. I picked up my bag from the ground and dashed off to make it to the opening ceremony. Hey? Yeah. All right. I've successfully become a sophomore. I feel like I can fit in with my new classroom, and it seems like I can have a good start. But... Danger of club disbandment, huh? Despite it being a good starting point, I had run into a hard wall. Hmm, what am I supposed to do now? Yes. The interest club that I was in was about to be disbanded. Since the upperclassmen graduated, I was currently the only member of the group. Still, there probably aren't that many people who will willingly join this interest group anyway. Excuse us! What? I was troubled like that when the door to the room opened suddenly. Surprised, I turned around and found two beautiful girls who were not fit for this interest group. Don't tell me that they want to be members. In that case, I have to be careful and seem likable. Hey, nice to meet you. Are you two hoping to be members? Wow, this guy completely forgot about this morning. This is weird. I feel a cold glare on me. Huh? I feel like I've seen you both somewhere. We met this morning. I can't believe you actually forgot about two beautiful girls like us. Is something wrong with your brain or something? I guess there really are princesses with high self-esteem who are a little bit on the high ride. Thank you so much for this morning. Uh, yeah. <laughs> oh, don't worry about it. The guy who was bothering them is in the wrong here. And all I did was glare. Uh, um, so, um... One girl started acting weird for some reason. I see. I bet there's something she wants to ask me to do. The way she's acting like it's hard to mention it, I already know. There's something I wanted to blackmail you with. I can't believe she just used that word right now. Oh, my name is Karumi Mizunashi. My name is Nene Kurosaki. Nice to meet you. 
I can't believe she's saying, nice to meet you, after what she just said. Uh, yeah, nice to meet you too. I'm... Ikuma Sakamoto-senpai, correct? I am. But how do these girls know that? I haven't even introduced myself. Uh, how do you know my... It's just a coincidence. Curiosity killed the cat. Hey, hey, hey! Of course I'm curious! My private information is being leaked! In fact, senpai, it seems like your interest group is in danger of being disbanded. Again, how do you- We'll join the club for you. My brow couldn't help but react to Mizunashi-san's words. In order for an interest group to work out, we needed three people. In order to become an official club, we needed more than four. It might not be an official club, but if these two join, we could still function as an interest group. Hmm, that would be super helpful. Oh, I may have phrased that wrong. If you want us to join, you must answer our questions. I didn't want to ask anything in return, but I feel like they should be a bit more appreciative of what I did this morning. I'm fine with you joining, but are you sure you're okay with that? Are you worried? <laughs> it's fine. We're not going to ask you weird questions. This is an interest group for beautiful girls. Hold on a second. This interest group was like that? It's giving me bad goosebumps. I assumed they knew. <laughs> Are you sure this is okay? This interest group makes me feel like I'm not safe. It's fine. I think Senpai is the only member. And Nenechan, you're okay with anything if it's Senpai, right? You're right. Why are these girls whispering? They're kind of scary. We're on it. We'll join you if you want us to. We'll do it! What is this? They're kind of threatening me. But the way they're looking down on me is kind of cute. <laughs> uh, thanks? So, you wanted to ask me something? I'd be happy to answer, but, uh... You said it! How do I explain this? Her excited eyes looked scary and gave off a sign that something bad would happen. But they're so cute! Okay, I have a question. Uh, sure. First off, your address. My address? I can't guess what they're trying to get at at all. Answer us. This is an important question. What kind of document are they going to prepare for me? I'm next. I told her my address, but I'm doubting whether this is okay. Your phone number and email address. Instead of asking for social media handles, why are both of them asking for personal information that's required for a document? I was actually starting to get worried. I was asked for so much information. A while later... We were able to find out where he was born, his birth registration, and his family tree too! We got his daily routine down in detail too, so we shouldn't have any problem. I can't do this. I can't help but feel like I'm dealing with someone troublesome. Why do you want that information anyway? Because, because we, we need it! it. But what do you need it for? <laughs> Dear mother and father, in the case that I get caught up in some kind of scam, I pray that you don't abandon me. <sighs> the following day, I wake up in my own bed, like always. A lot happened yesterday. I saved two beautiful underclassmen. The two beautiful underclassmen joined my interest group. The two beautiful underclassmen collected my personal information. It was a stimulating day that I wasn't able to experience my freshman year. Still, it was probably only that one day. After all, a comfortable morning like this was more or less a part of my normal life. Oh, good morning. Morning! A drastic change in my normal routine. Why are you here? Of course it's because we want to go to school with you. I'm trying to ask how you got in here. I mean, I'm happy that a beautiful girl is saying that to me, but... I used the window... Achoo! What? What about the window? Did they come in through the window? Or is she talking about something else? Well, I told your mother that I'm your girlfriend. She happily let us in after that. Me too! This is weird. Did my mother not think it was strange for them to blatantly state that I was two-timing? More importantly, hurry up and change. We're going to be late. Oh, okay. Can we actually brush this topic aside by saying, more importantly? Everyone, I'm sure you're all aware, but I met these girls just yesterday. We're basically strangers. Senpai, your arms are so huge! We're going to have to keep a record of this later. We basically just met, you know? Hey, look at that! Those two are so cute. But what's up with that? 
Why are they so clingy with such a plain-looking guy? This is bad. We're getting a lot of looks and whispers from around us. Uh, what are you doing? I'm checking to see how you feel. We absolutely need to check your body temperature and arm's length. I just want you to explain why that information is even necessary. At this rate, it was impossible for a guy like me to be happy. Ugh, I finally made it. The stares from people were painful. And the two girls that strangely started measuring me up were scary too. Oh, but after I got used to it, I was able to enjoy the soft touch of a girl. Which was nice. Don't tell me that happiness might be waiting for me once I get used to this situation. Hey! You came to school with girls clinging to you earlier, right? Are they your girlfriends? I'm sure he was watching. But he thought they were both my girlfriends. That's insane. They're underclassmen in the same interest group as me. Huh? The moment I said that, I got a notification on my phone. Say that we're your girlfriend, gosh. You're so pathetic. Damn it. I don't even know where to begin! When did they exchange numbers with me? But we obviously did that when we came to school together this morning. One underclassman who casually says things like that, she didn't make it seem like she was wrong, and only showed cuteness. What a highly skilled technique. Hey, do I not have this thing called privacy anymore? It's your fault, senpai. Hmm? Why is it my fault? I was confused. Senpai! I want to go to the aquarium! I was acting confused when Mizunashi-san, who was using some kind of machine in the back, raised her hand. I'm fine with going, but what are you doing? Huh? I'm fixing up the bug I put on you, senpai. This is a violation of privacy! Sounds great. Let's go to the aquarium. Yeah, I'm fine with going, but there's something else I can't just ignore. Okay, let's meet at the train station tomorrow at noon. What? Is no one on my side? No one listened when I said, uh, excuse me? About the bugging device? And it was the next day. I feel like I'm just being dragged around recently. Senpai, thank you for waiting. I thought I heard a voice. After which, I immediately saw the two underclassmen close by. They were always in their school uniform. So it was almost like they'd simply be cute girls if I didn't get to know them. Those are your first words? Ugh, so rude. It's like you're already trying to pick a fight. Oops! My true feelings came out. So that's how my weekend started. It was a day off, so there were families with kids, couples, and basically a bunch of people. We might get lost if there's this many people. You're right. That's true. There's so many people, we might get lost. Even when we're this old. We wouldn't lose each other if we held hands. But life wasn't that easy. If I held one of their hands, I'd have to hold both their hands. We're not a couple in the first place. Besides, if the three of us confidently held hands, people would think I'm a player or showing off a harem. I'd basically seem like an asshole! Senpai, we might get lost, so... Shoot! Right after I was thinking things like that, one girl brought up the topic like an expert. But I don't want to be considered an asshole at this age. That was why. I appreciate the offer, but we're not even dating, so... So, we wanted to put a GPS on you. I don't think you should put a GPS on me when we're not even dating. I don't think it's good even if we were dating. Then please, take this. I can't see it. I can't see the neatly shined handcuffs either. Why can I see handcuffs in their purses? Nonetheless, it was actually kind of fun going around the aquarium with these two. It's an anglerfish. <laughs> That's a seahorse. It's a whale shark. <laughs> That's a sea anemone. What kind of mistakes are you making? Senpai, you like to watch stingrays from below, right? Yep. That ugly face of theirs. Senpai, you like watching pufferfish when they're not blown up, right? Yep. That ugly face of theirs. Senpai, it's wonderful that you have a thing for ugly things. Well, that was fun. The sun was setting and we were finally leaving the aquarium. They tried to handcuff me and put a GPS on me. But other than that, it was a wonderful weekend. I had fun on this date with you too, senpai. Me too. I had fun on our date, senpai. Huh? Was this a date? All right. I'll see you two at school. Yes. See you. The fun time came to an end, and we parted ways there. It was Sunday tomorrow, but it's not good to force girls around when it gets late. All right. 
I wonder what's for dinner tonight. I'm hungry, so I should hurry up and head home. Oh, welcome home! You're late, senpai! I can't believe this is happening! Hold on, there's so much I want to comment on! You're hungry, aren't you? We already prepared dinner, so please take a bath first. Here is your change of clothes and a towel! Hold on, we left together, right? They not only got here before me, but are so prepared, there's an issue with timing! You can get here super quickly if you take a taxi. A car can't beat a walking person. I see. Senpai, here you go. Open wide. The meat and potatoes are good too. Oh, this is clearly like a harem. If they didn't cook complicated meals like meat and potatoes or came into my house without permission, it would have been a nice situation. However, um, I don't remember making myself seem so likable that you do all this for me. What are you saying? Of course you were totally likable since the moment we first met. What? The moment we first met? Before our school's opening ceremony? Was this all caused by me saving them? You might not even think much about it, senpai. But we are so happy you did that. Plus, you beat him so easily. It was so cool. Your face is my type too. Your personality is my type too. After receiving heated stares from both girls, my face couldn't help but turn bright red. I mean, I never expected such beautiful girls to say something like that to me. Honestly, all I did that day was just interfere. If we didn't like you, we wouldn't be feeding you like this. Well, that's true, but... If we didn't like you, we wouldn't put eavesdropping bugs in your house. I don't think you're supposed to do that in any case. So that's that. Senpai, you should just accept our love. I was having dinner. But Mizunashi latched onto my arm. My heart was beating faster than usual. It might be because I found out that they have feelings for me. <laughs> I've never been so in love with someone. You should be a bit confident, you know. You should! I was happy that such beautiful girls had feelings for me. I don't remember doing anything so impactful. But it seems like that wasn't the case for those girls. I could tell that by just looking at their faces. Oh, but I'm not going to lose to you, Nene-chan. Hm. I'll seize the spot next to Senpai. Honestly, I still can't give a proper answer at this point. It's only been a short while since I met them, and I don't know where my feelings lie. Still, thanks, both of you. I was just simply happy that they liked me. Oh, speaking of, why are you two in my house? Well, my mother who had to leave the house thought they were my girlfriends and probably messaged them. Something about how she's worried about leaving me alone. But, uh... Hold on. Why are you being silent now? Look over here! Over here, guys! Senpai, what should we do after this? Let's play video games! Games! Hold on a second! We have to figure out what happened before this! Before we plan out what we're going to do next! It's scary! Come on! I met two adorable underclassmen who ended up liking me. However, the two of them were a little bit of stalkers. It was a very stimulating course of events. Thank you for watching. How was today's video? Please check out our other videos as well.